Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, install, download, install, and configure the NDK. There's a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do, you need to go into the Google Android NDK page right here, and you need to find the, uh, the one that whatever platform you're using. In my case, it's a 64-bit. All you need to do is click on it and it's going to start downloading, as you can see there. And you're going to get, as you can see, this is a binary file. Uh, they have installation uh, instructions here. Uh, but the main thing that you need to remember is that this binary, you have to give it executable uh, privileges. You got to make it executable. So the way to do that, you're going to have to open uh, terminal and I already did it here uh, all you need to do is enter that command sudo chmod plus x and the name of the file and enter your password okay let's do it together so you know what I'm talking about chmod I I know we if we you watch other tutorials I know you've seen me do this a million times but just in case we'll tap and then tap and the name of the file and it's going to make it executable and in your case it's going to change color more likely uh, from white into a different color okay once you do that you know it's ready to go and you go dot and you're going to give it the name of the file and it's hit enter and it will start inflating okay i'm not going to hit enter because i already have it uh, inflated as you can see it's right here so I'm not gonna hit enter okay let me clear this okay so I did something here to keep me in line here so we already downloaded it we already made it executable we already ran it okay now we need to go into Eclipse this is very important here we need to download uh, a project that uses the GNI the native, the NDK. These are all Java, but let's do let's find one that uses um, the GNI. In order to do that, you need to go into let's do this. You're gonna file new project other Android project from existing code because we're gonna use the sample files that we use in the first and second tutorial. So you're gonna tell Eclipse where to find it and it's in OpenCV Android go inside find the samples file and you need to find one that uses GNI I know for sure that this uh, this one uses GNI this one uses GNI and let's do this one tutorial misprocessing because I haven't configured it so we'll do it together okay so let's do that one so hit ok it's gonna show up here once you hit ok it's gonna show up here so just say ok finish and as you can see it was created right there and it's giving me an error as you can see it's giving me an error it's telling me error cmd da, 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 da. okay so we not, we gotta tell Eclipse where to find the compiler that you want to compile that project Okay, so that's what we're going to do together. You're going to go into Window, Preferences, NDK, Tele or Eclipse already knows where my NDK is, but in your case, this might be empty right here, okay? So you need to tell Eclipse where to find that folder. This is the folder that it's looking for, okay? That one right there. So you need to tell Eclipse where to find that folder. So once you find it, you say OK. So now Eclipse knows where the path to that folder. So you say hit apply. OK. But it's still giving me an error. So there's something else that we need to do. So we need to go here. We already did preferences. We need to go into project properties and we need to go here it's not gonna do help and in your case here it might say this okay 
you need to change this you need to make sure you take the CMD and the dot out of there and remember this name right here because we're gonna need it okay so make sure you do that you take that out and another thing we need to do go into environment and we need to add a variable the name of the variable that we need to add is this this one right here that same name so we need to add add it and we're gonna call it ndk root and the path to wherever it is so in our case you need to find the path uh, let me give it an exact path I already did it here so I don't have to do two steps so copy and give it the name of the path paste OK and as you can see it added that variable with the NDK wherever it is and you hit apply OK and as you can see the errors went away OK you need to do those two things if you're still getting an error there are chances that you might still be getting an error you need to go into the the website uh, the Android NDK website and go into here into this page troubleshooting part right here and you need to download this package right here the ADT package with the zip it has the NDK because for some reason sometimes it's there by default some reason is not there by default so in case you're still getting an error more likely this is what you need to do because the way you'll know is when you go here and you go into project properties and you go into actually preferences not this one preferences and you go into preferences this might not be there if NDK is not showing up there that means that you need to do what I'm gonna show you what to do okay you need to download this zip and once you download that do not extract the zip okay don't extract the zip you're going once you get it bring it into your folder wherever you have all your stuff so you keep everything in one place don't extract it okay you're gonna let Eclipse do it for you so you're gonna go into Eclipse and gonna uh, we're done here and we're going to actually let's do it through here help install new software just like we did in the first tutorial and you're going to go into here add but you see where it says the, in the first tutorial we, we went and we put the name here but we're not going to do that we're going to tell to do to look for it in archive so you're going to go here and then you're going to give the name of, of that zip that we downloaded the ADT and you're gonna hit OK and it's going to unzip it for you and then everything should work okay I'm not gonna do that because I already have it but in your case once you do that when you hit uh, preferences again NDK is gonna show up okay and then now let's run it uh, we did this one together let's run it actually let's do uh, let's do another one so you know how to do it let's do no other Android existing project next browse samples let's do let's do native activities like the first one okay okay and finish and as you can see it already it didn't give me an error it knows where it is located as you can see everything is, should be working so now let's run it so let's do run us Android application well first of all let's let me connect my phone because I don't want to use the emulator it takes too long so let's uh, connect my phone I'm going to connect it and you're gonna see that it's gonna show up 
Oh, let's do it. It's a Moto X. And, and as you can see, it's picking it up. We need to act. Okay. And as you can see, it's there. And I hit the camera. Yeah, I don't want camera. I want I want the phone. Oh man, no, I don't want that right now. Okay, so it's this one right here. So it showed up. So now I'm going to run it using this one. So let's go back to Java to the Java site and go here, run us Android application, and as you can see, it's running. Okay, so now you go in here. I'm gonna back here to let to show you that it's running. I'm gonna take a snapshot, and as you can see, rotate. That's my phone right there. Okay, and uh, that's the one. Let's run another one. Let's. Let me do that one. Let's run another one. Let's go back to Java. And let's do camera preview. Run us. Actually, that's not GNI. Let's use GNI. Run us. Android. As you can see, it's, it's running. And is running okay and if you don't believe me do a, a screen capture and let's do refresh okay Sure again, and there it is. Okay, as you can see, it's working. Okay, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do this uh, using uh, Ant. Uh, so, because some people don't like Eclipse and they want to use something uh, that they don't have to use a, a GUI, so I'll show you how to do it just using Ant. Uh, if, but this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial. I will uh, please click the like box and, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.